Hello music producers and welcome to CEO Nation Z. In this exciting video, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you how to create amazing audio visualizers for your songs, If you, even if you have zero idea of motion graphics. So as you can see, we are going to be using a website for this, and this website is called Spectar. S-P-E-C-T-E-R-R. -E -E There's a link in the description for you to go ahead and check, check that out, but you can just go to Google and just type for Spectre and it will come up right up. So as you can see, this is a preview of actually what it looks like. And for those who don't know, this is exactly what I use to post all my songs on YouTube. I'm not actually sponsored by this website in any way. I'm just sharing a tool which is going to be very useful to a lot of you guys out there. All right, so to do this, it's actually just very simple. You can actually sign in because I already have an account. So let me just sign in right in. So as you can see, this was the latest video I posted, the Spider-Man cover. So let's just go ahead and create a new video. And let's see what we have right here going on for us. All right. And as you can see, right over here, they are giving us a guide in which we can actually make things work. So as you can see, first of all, we have select presets. And if we go to select presets, you'll see that there are a number of presets that we can just choose from. Like, and there are so many. As you can see, you can still have show more to actually um, to actually get more. So once you're done, once you find one that you would like to use, you can just go ahead and select it. And let me just go ahead and select one right here. And then that is that. Then you can go over to the next stage and select an image you want to use. Now for this, you can actually select an image from, um, you can select the logo image and the background image. For this, let me just go and select my logo right here. And as you can see, it gives you an option to select some um, stock images, which they provide for you right here. But I'm going to go ahead and upload an image from my browser right here. So as you can see right here, save. And the ones that is that you can see that it has updated the logo right here and you can also do that same thing with the background it also gives you an, a group of images for example you can just select one right here and then you can use it you can save it right here and use that as an image or you can also do the same thing and also go ahead to go and load one from your browser right here you can change the name of the artist name and the track name you can just go ahead and name the artist and go ahead and call this CEO my name and then um, the track name audio visualizer tests okay just for the sake of this tutorial let me just go ahead and do this then over here you have colors and what this does is that it changes the color of the wave front the wave that we have right here so you can actually change this to any color that you want. So let me just change this to a red right here. Okay. And like I said, you can actually change this to any color of your choice. Then you have the audio and this is where you actually upload your audio to, to the website. So let me just go ahead and upload any audio that I have right here. Okay. So my audio is uploading. Okay, then once it's done uploading, it starts to analyze the audio. All right. Okay, now once it's done, you can see you can now have a live preview with your audio. So once it's done, that's when you can now go ahead and play and um, play this back and we will now see the results right here. Let's have a view of what is going on. Right, so if you notice during the quiet part, there were no, it was having no effects except just the background motion. But when the bass hits, that is when it starts showing the audio, the audio visualizations. That is when it starts coming to life, and that is because of a setting that we have going on. So if we were to go over to this left tab right here, you can see we have visualizer, and this is where you have more in-depth setting on the visualizer itself. For example, you have the colors here. You can actually add more colors. You can see we can add more layer of colors right here. You can actually change the color. And you can actually change the shape also. Like from here, you can also change it to flat. If you want it to be flat. You can see, but I don't want that. I want to leave it as a circle. 
And then you can change the style from solid to bar. You can see this is the solid, this is the bar. And you also have it as a point also right here. Well, let me just leave it at bar for now. Then also you can also see that there are also more settings you can change it to. You can see that from this reflection, you can make it a four way, like something like this. Or you can make it a three way like this or across like this, vertical like this, or you can just leave it at none, which is just like a single one. And there are also a lot more settings as you can see, as you can see, we have layers here. We have combo, we have stack, we have web, and all these are just different styles. So as you can see, there are also a lot more settings going on right here. And you can see we have the smooth right here, which smoothens it out. Turned on right now, we're going to turn it off. You can see it has more jagged edges. I'm going to leave it on. You have invert to invert the whole, um, the whole wave upside down. And then you also have these settings to increase the diameter, which makes it wider. To increase the image size, which affects just the logo size. And you can also affect the position and the Y position also, which takes it ups and down. And then the wave height, which increases, affects just the wave itself. And then the separation. Then also, you can also rotate it right here. It affects the rotation of the whole, um, the whole wave, the whole wave visualizer. Then also, that's just for that. Also, we have the motion. We can also affect the motion. And as you can see, we have the spectrum of here, and we have base and wide. Now, if I'm to select wide, it affects not just the bass alone, but the whole instrumental is being affected. The bass affects just the low ends of the frequency, and when the low end hits, is when the visualizer actually comes to life. But the wide affects a whole, the whole range, the whole, the wide affects the whole frequency spectrum. So even when they are just silent noise, there are some activities going on in the wave. Like for example, if I'm to play the bass now, and this beginning, this beginning of the instrumental is silent, nothing is being played. It's having no effect. But if I'm to select the wide, you'll be seeing some movements all around the whole spectrum. Then the bounce also, how it bounces. And then lastly, you have effects also, which is just some extra effects that you can add to spice up the visualizer. And you have glow, you can turn it off, you can turn it on. You can see what it does right here. You have fire, which is a very cool effect, by the way. It actually makes it look awesome. It just adds some cool effects to the whole um, visualizer. And then you have shadow, which just simply adds a shadow to the visualizer. As you can see right there all right so that's basically that for the visualizer and over here you can go back to the general you see we have a few elements that we can add you can see the particles we can naturally turn it on and off it's those particles are those particles that are in the background and as you can see then lastly you have exports okay you can also add the subscribe button which is a very cool effect because most of the most they know that most people will be uploading this to YouTube. So you can go ahead and add the subscribe button underneath the video right here. And lastly, you export your video. As you can see, you click on the link to export it. And the thing is that you can only for the free version, because there's a premium version for this. For the free version, you can only use the 720p and 30 um, frames per second, which is very okay for this. And you can only upload two videos per day so as you can see we have um two remaining you can use one credit two remaining so out of this two we are going to use one for this and you can only use upload two videos per day but if you want to upgrade you can upgrade this and then you can do as many videos as you want but 720p is okay and so i'm just going to go ahead and export this 
so as you can see video is queued for export i'm going to click ok and it's going ahead to prepare my video for exporting and that'll be it for this video guys hope you learned a lot from this video please if you aren't subscribed to this channel please do hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so that you'll be notified when i upload new videos just like this for you till we meet again stay safe guys and see you in the next one